It's the perfect example of you all are the reason this channel is what it is. So I didn't watch season one of Ted Lasso until months after it came out because you guys kept telling me, Austin, this show's outstanding. And I'm like, all right, guys, I'll get to it. And then I got to it. And I have never agreed with you all more. I am psyched to talk about season two. Whew, what a journey that was. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Ted Lasso season two is about to premiere and Apple sent me a big portion of this new season. Now, the big question is, is this season as good as season one? Does it capture the heart and the warmth? Or does it kind of go off track? We're going to talk about it. No spoilers, of course, right now. And season two picks up. We're thrown right back into the action, right into the midst of a game. And we've kind of moved past the extremely sad and emotional events of season one and we are in the new season now i'm not going to sit back and say everything is going smooth because with this team as always there's going to be conflict there are going to be um, some things about the way they're playing on the field and then of course what happens off the field which is what we are the most interested in now our characters are returning in the fashion that you had hoped they did from Coach Beard to Ted Lasso to uh, Nathan. Then we have Rebecca, obviously, who is uh, just as good, if not better. I mean, obviously morally better, but if not better than season one, Higgins. And then we get into, you know, the player side of things. And, uh, you know, he's in the poster. He's in the trailer. Jamie is returning. Not going to say how, but he is back. And then Roy Kent. Now, one of the most fascinating storylines of season two is Roy's journey, not only his relationship, which we saw shades of in season one, that's expanded upon, and both of those characters are great. Their chemistry is awesome through the roof. Roy, you know, he has his niece that he gets to go and take care of every now and then, and this time, it's not necessarily a spoiler, he is coaching her soccer team, so we get to see Roy Kent in full form coaching a bunch of kids. Now tell me that's not something you're looking forward to in season two. It is just hilarious and it captures that heart and that magic that you expect. But we do spend a lot of time with him apart from this team, whereas the team, you know, going through the motions just a little bit, each of them struggling with their own problem and dilemma. But what season two manages to do is not only keep the heart present, not only keep the dry humor, the witty nature, the banter coming full force, this time, we're getting layers from characters that maybe we didn't get as much from in part one, but we're also going even deeper into Ted Lasso himself. Now, season one, one of the reasons why I resonated so much with Ted Lasso is he was dealing with things that I've dealt with in my personal life. Not only, you know, barely knowing anything about football or what we like to call soccer, I've never been huge into soccer, but watching the show and being a fan of something like the World Cup, that's kind of got me more on board. But also, yeah, I know a lot of people is going to see that and be like, what? Sorry, guy. I, I live in Kentucky. We know basketball. That's what we know. But Ted was dealing with a lot of things in his personal life, and that led to uh, him having a panic attack in an episode and had a lot of anxiety building up. And as someone who is always trying to be his nicest to other people and then, you know, dealing with those things, I resonated with that. And, you know, I myself have dealt with very similar things before. I, I had a panic attack earlier this year. And, you know, seeing that and then kind of seeing what he's going through and applying that to my personal life, man, I really resonated. But this time we're going even deeper, maybe not that deep, right? But uh, deep enough in Ted's personal life, learning more things about him, what makes him tick, but also what allows him to, you know, find the good in others, maybe even more so in season one. We also get introduced to uh, a character that he refers to as Led Tasso, and it's an alternate version of himself. And that's, I believe, in episode four or five. He was one of the funniest things, man. And that's the thing about this show. You have humor, you have heart, but you also have so much emotion. We get a Christmas episode this season. And while I will say, the Christmas episode, it does feel maybe a bit off compared to the other episodes because we kind of take a step back from the action, from uh, the football and all of that. It did still carry that heart and a great storyline with Roy and his niece that, you know, elevates this show to a level that I don't know if any other show is going to be able to match this year. And that's not just talking about quality because, you know, there were moments in season two where I said, well, I don't know if the pacing is as good as season one or I don't know if this episode, like the Christmas episode, is as important as it needed to be. 
but there are other things that make up for that in a way. And how often do you watch a show that just makes you feel like, and I hate to say it like this, warm and fuzzy inside, and you resonate with all the characters, and you're learning so much about them, and each person has something about them that that is so warm, and one great character in particular, Nathan, Nathan has really come full circle from the beginning of the first season, someone who was beat up on and bullied, and, and now he is coming into his own, and he has this confidence that we didn't really see before. Higgins does something in that Christmas episode that I was talking about, and you look at him and you're just like, are you kidding me? There is so much warmth that comes from this character. There is a moment in the middle of the season where Sam makes a decision uh, for the betterment of himself and those that are a part of where he comes from that the entire team, you know, you're, you're waiting to see what they're going to or how they're going to respond to this and what they're willing to do about it. They kind of all come together and it's this moment that I'm sitting back going, Man, you know, even though they may not be winning as much as they want on the field, and don't worry, I'm not giving away exactly where their season goes. Man, off the field, they are all coming together. And even Jamie, yes, even Jamie, uh, there are moments with Jamie in this season. Obviously, we got to see a little bit from that game last season, but uh, man, I'm just happy. I'm happy they're taking those plot points from season one, expanding on them, but keeping the heart and the humor. That's what Ted Lasso season two is able to do. And before I give you guys my score for this season overall, and let me know if you want individual episode reviews, I might be willing to do that. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, if you like this review, be sure to drop your thumbs up to support this channel. Season two is full of heart, humor, and the necessary character growth to keep this series fresh. Ted Lasso is the best show on television right now. I'm going a 90% for season two. If you're asking me to compare it, maybe I don't love it quite as much as season one, but my goodness, it's like asking me. I always make this reference. Austin, which kid do you prefer? I don't have kids, but I love them both almost equally. They're so good. And man, what Jason Sudeikis is able to do, he's just phenomenal. He is absolutely phenomenal as this character. All right, guys, you're the best. I'll see you soon.